Previously, Japan has provided the Philippine military a handful of air search radars from its own budgetary requirements, enabling the former to have the first of its defense and military export of its kind since the relaxation of laws that restrict the country from such arrangement. The bilateral relations between both countries, especially regarding to national defense, have come more vibrant lately that the Philippine army may get the likelihood of getting more armored vehicles, especially the one that is about to discuss in this article. Previously, discussions on Japanese military hardware possibly getting provided to the Philippine military came along, with the Philippine army being the primary recipient of these assets, in an event that these plans push through. Typically, the discussions previously discussed on this website usually talk about the air assets that the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force may provide this service branch with, such as the UH-1J Combat Utility Helicopters and the AH-1S Cobra Attack Helicopters. However, the aforementioned military hardware coming from stocks within the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force inventory isn't the only one that may likely end up in the hands of the Philippine Army as there is a single type of armored vehicle that the Japanese shows some willingness to provide their Philippine counterparts that may boost its armored capabilities aside from the ones it already have like the Sabre tanks, a both ASCOD-2 and Pander-2 chassis coming from Israel's Elbit Systems Limited. The said armored vehicle refers to the Japanese-made Type 74 tank, see image above, as these platforms are something that the Philippine Army officials are interested to get on, as these main battle tanks, along with their UH-1J combat utility helicopters, are on the process of getting a schedule for its eventual decommissioning out of active service from the Japanese military. Japan's plans for decommissioning both its Type 74 tank and UH-1J combat utility helicopters also coincide with their military's plans to decommission their AH-1S Cobra attack helicopters, as their security defense policy update sees these platforms obsolete and now in the process of getting replaced by unmanned aerial systems or drones that they may see as more relevant to their defense-related requirements. On the other note, the decommissioning of UH-1J helicopters comes as the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force gets newer helicopters like the UH-2 Combat Utility Helicopter, itself a Bell 412 variant that the Philippine Air Force also have and has plans to add more later on, see page 84 of the Sorrow Release List PDF file. While some media outlets are quick to brand this information as fake, this information holds plausibility as the Philippine Army's idea of getting Type 74 tanks has gotten rounds on several defense outlets that come with credibility even before the mainstream media gets it, along with the information that Pitt's defense analysis have that gives full verification for this military asset from Japan. Hence, the Type 74 tanks deserves a discussion of its own for the sake of obtaining it, as the possibility for the Philippine Army of getting it is there, although it is not necessarily 100% guaranteed as plans changes from time to time and there are several cases that the end user decided not to pursue the project itself, such in this case regarding both the Philippine Army and Marine Corps multiple launched rocket system acquisition project, presumably what would be the K-136 Koryong MLRS from South Korea. In this topic, we will discuss its development, specifications, and an elaborate comparison with the other tanks that Japan Ground Self-Defense Force has, as the plans of decommissioning the tanks came as the Japanese are on the process of introducing its newest Type 10 main battle tanks into service, as it really comes as a replacement to the older tanks like the Type 74.